Hey guys, Pridge here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, freelancing versus uh, working full time. Now, I myself have been a freelancer for over seven years uh, and uh, recently I actually pulled the switch uh, to working full time for one single company. And uh, I want to briefly guide you through some of uh, my experience, also some tips and advice uh, if uh, you're actually evaluating uh, either a freelancing career or a full time design career. So this uh, is uh, going to be the basic uh, uh, elements that we're going to talk about. And by the way, sorry if my voice isn't 100% there. I'm still recovering from a cold slash allergy reaction, which I recently have. But um, nonetheless, I wanted to create this video because I don't want uh, my stuff to interfere with your knowledge. So let's get right into it. And by the way, just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about this field and uh, also uh, receiving all the freebies uh, and uh, source files from my design tutorials, feel free to check out uh, this section, which I'm going to leave in the link in the description. And uh, now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So freelancing, uh, the reason why I wrote uh, two to six clients uh, is because in my personal opinion and experience, and the way that I structure my freelance uh, design business uh, is uh, actually the sweet spot, which I noticed uh, where management doesn't become too complicated. So when I'm talking about freelancing, I'm referring to having a small pool of clients uh, which uh, are you know, high quality, meaning that uh, you can deliver quite a bit of value to them. And they respect your work and uh, they pay you well. So this is uh, the basic uh, of uh, uh, the freelancing. Uh, and uh, essentially, let's talk about the lead generation and marketing, because obviously, if you compare the two, when it comes to freelancing, you're going to have to do the marketing yourself. So you're going to have to promote yourself uh, on social media and uh, also create a personal website and all those things which actually still help uh, when it comes to f uh, finding a full-time gig. So it's not like a black or white uh, you're going to notice, but uh, there's a go going to be a quite a bit of overlap. But nonetheless, if you're freelancing, most of the times uh, the clients that you're going to work uh, with uh, aren't going to, to stay with you for a very long time compared to maybe a full-time gig that can go on for years. And uh, this is actually comes one of my first uh, suggestions uh, is that uh, if you're doing uh, freelance gigs, uh, um, the way that I personally found uh, um, it to work the best uh, is not uh, to work on a project basis uh, all the time, uh, but uh, kind of like uh, have a, a, a mix between projects. Uh, so fixed projects uh, where you're going to be paid, uh, for example, uh, X amount uh, for a project, say $5,000, and it's a fixed project. But um, actually having like a mix between those uh, and uh, uh, gigs uh, that uh, are essentially uh, kind of like part-time work uh, or work that you can do uh, month after month for clients, uh, since uh, that is going to give you a base uh, uh, of momentum going and especially it's, uh, it's really useful if you can work part-time and have all of your um, bills uh, uh, and expenses covered and then with uh, the projects pitches you can be even more aggressive because you know in your mind that uh, you're actually going to be able to survive each and every month uh, just off of those more safe uh, um, income streams so that is the way that uh, I actually structured my freelance uh, uh, business. So um, that's definitely one of the first things that, to keep in mind. But nonetheless, uh, um, most of the clients uh, wouldn't last uh, more than, uh, uh, say, six months. Uh, so that, that was like the average, maybe like uh, if you're working more on project base, it's like three to six months. And then, of course, you do, you do a good job. Uh, you're going to have more work opportunities. You're going to have referrals and all those good things. So never see um, a client as you know one off work. Always look to build a relationship with that person. And um, that's just going to really boost your business uh, in, uh, in ways that I cannot explain <laughs> just by words. Now, another thing to consider is time management. Now, if you're freelancing for multiple clients, you're going to have uh, to build up uh, your um, time management skills, uh, meaning that uh, um, managing your time is going to be really useful. Now, 
most uh, of the people out there say like oh if you're freelancing you can be your own boss compared to full time where you have to go and work certain hours and yeah that that is true but uh, the reality is that uh, you have to be strict on yourself uh, when it comes to timing uh, and uh, uh, you're going to have to create uh, your own rules and stick to them because at the end of the day you're not going to like wake up and uh, <laughs> go to the beach and have mojitos all day it's uh, not going to, to be realistic if you want to sustain a, a good freelancing business so yeah you're going to have you're going to have the choice uh, to allocate uh, the time where you want but still you have to be uh, strict with uh, and create a schedule for yourself and stick to it so if uh, you're not the, the type of person that can uh, really do that effectively uh, you're either going to have to build it up uh, or maybe consider going full-time uh, since uh, the, the structure is already laid out for you so that's going to bring us to the other point which is accounting if you're dealing with a lot of clients and a lot of invoices, um, you're going to have to take uh, uh, that uh, in consideration and you're going to have to do it yourself. Uh, I myself, uh, I hired an accountant and uh, I uh, paid her extra in order to take care of uh, all of the nuances and all the like uh, invoicing stuff, uh, uh, especially because uh, here in Italy, it's, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a bit of dynamics which makes it like not very straightforward when it comes to the invoicing and in, our, in other countries is like easier. So <clears throat> just consider what you have uh, at your disposal when it comes to the structure of the accounting. But nonetheless, you're going to have to do it. Uh, um, the, you're going to have to take care of that part uh, uh, yourself. So another thing to consider if you're looking to go into freelancing or decided to go the full-time route. Now, let's talk about uh, another big one, which is the salary. I myself, uh, I managed to make more money freelancing than in my full-time gig. Then, that being said, uh, um, when, I, when I was making more money, I was working a lot more. Um, I remember like one of my top months was 20K uh, dollars in one single month. And I work like crazy and uh, the stars align, meaning that uh, the client, like I have all sorts of like really good clients that were looking for work and I managed to like uh, put them in, in slots and in blocks and everything worked out. But nonetheless, that wasn't like a typical month. Um, I wouldn't honestly know how to replicate it <laughs> if I were um, to, to do it like uh, anytime soon this year. Uh, which I'm not <laughs> because I'm working full time, but um, hypothetically speaking. And uh, but yeah, I mean, freelancing, you can definitely make a lot of money. But uh, in my personal experience, there's, you know, the lead generation, the time management, uh, a bit of accounting and all those things uh, uh, make it for um, a more difficult uh, uh, route uh, um, overall. Um, I would say that uh, if you ha if you're lucky if you live uh, for example in big cities um i would say that full time uh, uh, gigs uh, uh can actually be just easier <laughs> because uh, you're going to be able to work with uh, large clients so for example if you get hired at uh, one of those big companies out there uh you can definitely make a lot a lot of money so it's not going to be a thing but in my experience, um, I want to work uh, uh, wherever I want, pretty much. I'm currently in Italy, in uh, Trieste, where uh, it's not uh, like we don't have Facebook, Google, and all those big companies. So it's not really uh, something that uh, I can do, like go there physically. So that's the reason why I actually started off, uh, actually started off in London, and then uh, I decided to go back to Italy and work as a freelancer for many years, and I did that uh, entirely remotely. So th that's pretty much the way that they <laughs> stumbled in, into freelancing. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go back to the to the main point, which is salary. So the answer, of course, it depends. Uh, you're also going to have to build up your negotiating and sales skills because that's really important. But nonetheless, with uh, both freelancing and full time, you can make a lot of money. Um, so it, re it really comes down to a few variables that uh, you're going to have to uh, evaluate yourself based on your current situation.
Now let's talk about uh, another factor which uh, a lot of people don't really uh, consider right away and that is risk management. Now if you're freelancing for say five clients and um, at a certain point with one, of the, with one of those clients, you're not really feeling it anymore. You're not, uh, uh, you're seeing that the, the relationship is not going anywhere. You can simply fire those, that client and you still have uh, four clients. So you're, uh, see that that one client uh, was taking up 20% uh, of your income source. Uh, um, you're just losing 20% of that uh, uh, income source. But if you're hired full time and you have say 100% of your income source coming from just that one thing uh, and you get fired, you're going to lose 100% of the income source. Now, <laughs> that's the reason why I always recommend to have uh, a pot uh, of gold uh, let's say, um, on the side. So you're always going to have, uh, you know, uh, time to either uh, find new clients or find another full-time gig. That's just going to give you peace of mind. So um, definitely something to consider, but yeah, risk management is definitely something which uh, uh, is real. And um, you always want to basically put the ball in your court. So. I'm not saying that freelancing is going to be the um, the safer route, uh, uh, but uh, just something to consider. If you have multiple clients and you lose one, uh, you're not going to have uh, uh, that big of an impact uh, on your bottom line. So just something to consider. And the work-life balance, uh, um, I heard a lot of the times that freelancers are just uh, you know working nonstop. Uh, they have no work-life balance and. Uh, uh, with a full-time gig, uh, you know, everything is more structured. And I would say yes and no, meaning that uh, it really depends how you structure your freelancing gigs. And uh, it's really important to put uh, uh, your foot down and uh, uh, let your clients know when you're going to be available, when you're not going to be available, and uh, things of that nature. You have to establish uh, um, your expectations uh, and set expectations from the start uh, really well so that just comes with practice but uh, of course there's going to be some slips here and there you're going to learn this and uh, i definitely learned it uh, over <laughs> years uh, of uh, doing mistakes uh, and things of that nature when it comes to to that aspect but it all comes down to basic communication and establishing uh, realistic expectations with uh, the work both with you and your client so I would say mm, re it really depends. Uh, I didn't really have uh, um, a worse work-life balance when I was freelancing, uh, com considering uh, comparing to uh, a full-time gig. So definitely um, things to consider and um, really hope this video was helpful. If uh, you're interested in more about UI UX design on my channel, I have over 500 videos. Uh, sharing my over 10 years of experience uh, working in this field and um, yeah, see you in the next video.